It's so abnormal. It's so abnormal. I guess I'm ready. I kind of feel like I look like a freaking duck right now. Who is she? They look gorgeous. They're a little blotchy <laughs> in color. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Y'all, I have a photo shoot on Friday. <laughs> I actually have like a top lip now. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today is a very exciting day and I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, what are you doing? This is literally coming out of nowhere. But if you are new, my name is Maddie and today we are getting lip fillers. I never thought I would ever actually say that. Never thought I'd be like, yep, we're doing this. But you know what? Here we are. Let me just say, this is something that I have actually been thinking about for a really long time. This isn't something that I thought of like last week. I was like, I'm going to book an appointment like super randomly. No, I have, I thought about doing like a lip flip and just like all that kind of stuff. And I don't know. It's just something that I've been wanting to get done. And I finally like pulled the trigger and I was like, we're doing it. Obviously my lips are not anything special. I feel like a lot of people who have gotten lip fillers, like a majority of people that I've seen, like the lips are already like big in my opinion. Not like big, but like bigger than mine. So it's really hard to find like before and afters of lips that kind of look like mine. But I definitely want more definition like on the top and kind of just like even that out with the bottom. But I have literally, when I tell you, I don't know how any of this works. Like I've watched YouTube videos and stuff on it, but we're about to go talk and do like a little consultation sort of thing. I don't know exactly how this is gonna work, but I'm going to Skin Farm here in Dallas. I've heard amazing things about them. All around, like obviously they do way more than just like filler, Botox, everything else. Like they do all around great things. If you guys are in the Dallas area, I definitely recommend Skin Farm. They also have other locations across the US. Nervous, but ex I'm more excited than anything. I don't know, I really am kind of indifferent. It still hasn't hit me yet like what I'm actually doing, about to be doing in 10 minutes. <laughs> but here we go, I guess. And let me just be very like, transparent with you guys. Obviously this is something that I have been thinking about, but what sent me over the edge was this picture from my birthday. It's cute, whatever, but I literally, there's no top lip. I thought it was cute and I was gonna post it and I literally didn't post it for that reason. Which sounds so terrible to say. That's honestly what did it. That, that, it's this sing single-handedly, this photo. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. Not a singular clue. I think it's in like this building. It's like one of those things where it's like you're in like a whole building thing. Elevator to lobby. My patients tell me that our numbing works really well, so. That's good. <laughs> we, we love that for you. Perfect. Awesome. Right, she just put on the numbing cream. I think I got some on my mouth. She took before and after pictures, got those done. I'm so scared. <laughs> in color so we're just really thin to start out with right. too you know and then the kindest way ever <laughs> no i trust me i'm aware <laughs> i am already bruising so bad and i i can't <laughs> no they're gonna look really good tomorrow not tomorrow like by thursday but i i can't even 
show you guys because it's so abnormal. It's so abnormal. Okay. Okay. They, okay, wait. From this angle, they don't look as scary. This is fresh. Fresh, okay? They're already bruising a lot, actually. So, honestly, she did a really good job. I'm really excited to see how they're gonna look like in a few days and I know tomorrow I'm literally gonna be like what the heck did I do and probably think I did the worst thing ever but that's normal it's normal but let's talk about pain and how it felt during the whole process obviously y'all watched me getting it done and let me tell you it wasn't painful whatsoever like it literally on a scale of one to ten it was like a two if that a one and a half maybe a one like it really was not uncomfortable whatsoever the numbing cream that they put on was really really good i don't know if there's like levels of numbing cream but it was great like, i felt like maybe a slight pinch more on my bottom i didn't feel anything on the top like the very first time she poked me i was like did you even like do anything did not feel a single thing but i felt a lot of it more towards the bottom but like it wasn't even bad so if y'all are worried about pain I wouldn't worry too much, but I do have like, I think I have a pretty high pain tolerance and also needles don't bother me at all. It's just crazy to see my top lip be as big as it is. And I kind of feel like I look like a freaking duck right now. Like I look botched. <laughs> I don't look botched, but like I know in a few days I, they'll like swell, like the swelling will go down, but I don't know. I feel like I wish I could do my makeup so I could like really see everything, but I can't do that until like 24 hours or after that they gave me a little ice pack that says skin farm on it also i will leave the girl's instagram who did it her name is Alyssa henderson she's great i'll leave her instagram down below also they, where did go? Oh, they gave me arnicare gel it helps with bruising though i think it's like mainly for bruising yeah muscle pain stiffness swelling bruises but yeah we got those i wish i had like a face mask to wear <laughs> inside like, you know, like a like a COVID face mask. I don't think I even, oh wait, no, that's not one. Dang it. She put almost an entire syringe in, an entire syringe. The way she did it, she was like, we can like put in like half, go from there and then tell me if you want more. She's like, you have like less than 0.3 left if you want to just do the rest of it. And these are swollen right now, so they will go down. I was like, might as well just put the whole thing in. So she did. <laughs> I have really high hopes. I know like it's just, I think my, my top lip is the one that's really just, it's a lot for me to look at because that was like the biggest difference. It's definitely, the, I already like feel it a little bit like being like sore. You can't drink out of straws for a while for like the next two weeks. I think she, she's, did she say two weeks? I think she said two weeks. So I'm going to have to avoid this. It's my favorite water bottle. I'm not going to send any pictures to anyone until they're like somewhat healed. Y'all, I have a photo shoot on Friday. <laughs> A full-on photo shoot on Friday. I think I'm gonna be fine by Friday. If it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's kind of cutting it close. We'll see. We'll see. But I do feel a little soreness on my top lip right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna update you guys throughout the week and how everything goes. But that's kind of it right now. Literally texted my friends. I was like, do not FaceTime me. But I will not answer the phone. I will send you guys a picture on Friday. <laughs> I, I've only shown like two people, but I haven't even shown my mom yet. <laughs> my dad or stepdad both don't even know that I was planning on doing this. Like, I don't know. My biggest fear was I didn't want it to make my face look bigger than it is. <laughs> I'm like nervous because I don't love it. I really don't love it right now. But I, I know that's part of the process. So I'm just not even gonna accept it right now. I'm just gonna wait until they're good. Hello everyone, it is day three. So I got this done on Tuesday, and that is, what's day? Thursday? Today, Thursday. Honestly, they look the same as they did yesterday. Maybe a little bit less purple, but obviously we still have some bruising going on. But luckily today, I can actually put on makeup and look presentable because I just feel like the last two days I've looked like a literal rat and have not wanted to see anyone. Like I haven't gone out in public except once to get an extension thing fixed. But other than that, like, I haven't seen anyone in person. It's really not even that bad. It's just like, it's so dark. It's so dark. But yeah, this is day three. I'm about to put on some makeup, see how everything looks. And then we'll go from there. But as far as like 
soreness goes and everything like yesterday they're not like they don't feel sore at all i have had no problem in the whole healing thing other than just bruising like they look like they probably hurt so bad they don't at all not even in the slightest bit so that's good there's an up close clip of them i can't like obviously the swelling has gone down a little bit but i can't really tell too much of a difference like versus like as soon as i got them done versus now okay let's go freshen up this face who is she oh my god <laughs> okay so obviously you can still see some of the bruising like through i'm not a lipstick person i don't think i'll ever s well never say never but <sighs> i've never been a lipstick person but mainly because i hated my lips and that like the little thin line on, on the top it just kind of i don't know wasn't a fan but we got some lip gloss on I actually have like a top lip now way more than I did but let's do some before and after picture shall we yay I love them so obviously y'all get the gist so that since so this is like day three basically which is very soon after like getting this done but I'm already like insanely in love with them y'all like them do they fit my face features <laughs> like is it all in you know what I'm saying <laughs> I don't care what y'all think honestly I'm just glad that I like them because that's all that matters so if you guys are in the Dallas area and are interested in lip fillers or whether that's any kind of like Botox literally anything so if you just want to go on the skin farm website all of their options are down there in case you guys are interested and like want to check them out I know they have several locations across the US but specifically for lip fillers and if you're in Texas Alyssa Henderson mark my words she's great she's awesome I'll leave her Instagram down below if you guys have any questions that I didn't answer I know I didn't go, go over pricing I'll be fully transparent with you guys I didn't give out like pricing info because this was comped for me but I know based on like my research like if you're going to like a really good place like on average I think a full syringe range is between like six to eight hundred dollars but it really just depends on who you're going to and everything like that but yeah that's why I didn't give out pricing info but yeah if you have any other questions besides that leave them down below and I'll be sure to go through them and answer them in the comments so Maybe you guys have a question, look through the comments, it might be there. Can I pin more than like one comment? I guess I'll figure that out later. If I can, I can like pin all the questions and then you guys can look through it. I don't really know. You think I would know with the amount of years I've been doing YouTube, but I just don't. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was very informative. If you guys are a returning subscriber or someone new, and if you guys want to stay around, check out my channel. We have a fun time over here. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.